I know why I'm here. Because a lot of us have not discovered our purpose. We don't know who we are. We have no identity. And so when life shows up, because we have no identity, it says, you know, if you don't stand up for something, you'll what? Fall for anything. But when you know why you are here, when you know your purpose in life, oh, okay, that's not the topic, but you took me somewhere. Oh, now the time is now. The time is now. And what I've discovered is that now, oh, is all that we really have. Now is all that we really have. You know, we can we can always linger in the past or we can always go to the future, but it is always the now. Not living in the now robs you of your peace of mind, your joy, and your gratefulness. When you allow yourself not to be, not to recognize the power of right now. And I often pray and I often say in the now, all that you need in order for you to be who you are is always in the now. Ooh, when you don't live in the now, you miss the message. And when you miss the message, when you miss what the now holds for you, and you miss the message, then you live on repeat. You know, you look at your life and you repeat the same thing over and over. It can be a different situation, but when you get through, it's the same outcome. You live on repeat. Conversations with God says, I will keep showing up. I will keep showing up until you get it. I'm not punishing you, but this is something that will assist you on your journey if you know your identity and your purpose. Ooh, I wrote a book that says, go to hell. And in that book, it says, your greatest obstacle, your greatest pain can be your greatest insight if you are open to receive and to receive, you must be in the now. Living in the now means living consciously, living consciously, you know, and you've heard me say this before. A lot of us, we have those 92,000 thoughts a day in our mind, 92,000 thoughts. And we wonder why, why am I exhausted? Why am I so tired? It's because we cannot focus on the present moment, the gift of what you have right now. And those thoughts will tell you what you should have did, what you didn't do, where you should be. When you are right where you are supposed to be. And once you recognize that, you will appreciate where you are in the now. We've been given the gift today, but we're steady thinking about tomorrow and yesterday. When now is all that we have, not to be in the now is not to acknowledge and appreciate the sun that shines on us, the moon that brightens up the night and the breath that we're breathing right now. Bryant said it. You got everything you need. When you find yourself becoming anxiety, stop and breathe. That's what it's telling you. It's telling you stop. Stop creating the chaos and the madness in your world. Stop and breathe. That's what's always in the now, the power to assist you on this journey. Now, the Bible talks about 
appreciating the small things. And it says in, in Matthew 25, it says, well done, my faithful servant. And I will make you ruler over many things, but you first must acknowledge the now, where you are now. If I can't appreciate where I am now, then what's going to make you appreciate where you think you need to be? Can I say that again? If you can appreciate right now, the breath that you're breathing right now, the situation that you're surrounded in right now, what makes you think, oh, when this happens, I'm going to be okay? Oh, you know, when I get over there or when I make this amount of money or when my career takes off. Because if you can't appreciate where you are now, if you can't not be grateful for all the things that you've been through that have brought you to where you are now, trust and believe when you get to wherever you think you want to get to, you will have the same mindset. You will still not be satisfied. You will still not have joy. You will still not have happiness because those things only occur in the now. Ooh. How do I live in the now? I live it consciously. I live it on purpose, intentionally. That's the power of meditation. It allows you to know what is my intent. I'm not, I don't have power over the external. I don't have power over what you think and what you feel. But what I do have power over is my intentions, my purpose, my identity, who I am. And I find that in the now. Ooh. Now, in order to live in the now, one of the keys to be able to live in the now is acceptance. And acceptance is not defeat. With acceptance, you stop playing the blame game because the blame game makes you powerless. Many think that talking so much about accepting our thoughts or your circumstances is the same as allowing defeat to rule your life. This is not the same. Accepting your circumstances means you can stop focusing on the pain or whatever negative thought that's causing you. And you can begin to change. See, if I accept where I am, this is who I am. This is what I am. This is who and what I'm doing. When I can accept that, then I have the power to actually ask myself, does this work for me? Because, you know, we're still sometimes, we're still having things in our life that no longer serve us. But you can't see what's serving you if you're in the future. You can't see what's serving you if you're staying in the past. What works for me right now? Because you've evolved. You've changed. You've had some experiences. You know, some of us meditate. Some of us chant. Some of us pray. That's the beauty. It's free will. You have the power to create what works for your life. At one time, religion worked for me. Religion worked for my grandmother. I remember my grandmother calling on the name of Jesus. I remember my grandmother being very strict on this is how you have to do it. And what I recognized with my experiences that although that worked for her, that doesn't work for me. Does it mean that what she did was wrong? Absolutely not. Does it mean that what I do is wrong? Absolutely not. That's the beauty. 
is that you get to create your own reality. You get to create what's going to comfort you. You get to create in your own reality what's going to support you, what's going to work. And those things that no longer serve you, you can let them go. At one time, I thought it was wrong to be gay. That no longer serves me. I am gay and I am happy to be gay. I tell you that all the time. If I come back again, I want to be gay again. I just want to know it a little bit sooner. That's all. That's all I'm asking. I don't feel like going through no husband again. I don't feel like all that. Let me just go straight to gay. Straight to gay. Because when you don't accept the now, when you don't get the message that the now holds, then you repeat. If you don't do it, ooh, mm, mm, mm. it is what continues to allow you to hold on to the pain. And holding on to the pain will not change the outcome. Some of us think that if we suffer, some of us think that we don't des deserve to have joy, don't deserve to have peace because of some of the choices that I've made. Well, let me tell you today, you've always done your best. You've always done your best. And the choices that you made were the choices that you made because that's where you were at that particular time. Oh, it takes so much for you to let yourself off the hook. Nobody has to beat you down. You good at that yourself. Ooh, but in the now, you will recognize, I no want to live, I no longer want to live in victimhood and I have the power to move. Get the lesson, get the insight, discover whatever is needed in the now so that you can free yourself and live life more abundantly. Now, how do I accept the now with living in the present moment of uncertainty? Because life comes with no guarantees. Life comes with, it is what it is. But this is where, where does your trust lie? Am I trusting the process or am I trying to control the outcome? See, because if I'm trusting the process, then I will know that the outcome will be for my highest good. And a lot of times, we don't want to trust the outcome. Well, I'm going to tell you what the young folks be saying. Life be life Life is going to happen. You know, I don't care. Pray, meditate, burn candles, chant, walk, talk, speak in tongues. At the end of the day, life is life -in. Because that's what you came here to do, is to be a part of life. You didn't come here to try to control the outcome. You came here, oh Lord, to experiment and experience this thing called life. Now, there'll be some experiences that you'll have and you'll say, oh, oh no, we don't want to experience that anymore. But see, what we do is we make it a judgment call. We call ourselves bad. I, you know, I should know better. You know, I've had five relationships. I should know better. I can do. Honey, you do what you do. You're doing your best. And when you be better, you'll do better. If you live in the now, you will get the lesson. You'll get the insight that you need. The insight will be 
wait a minute, you deserve more. The insight will be, I am enough. Why do I keep settling? The insight will be, let me use my intuition. Let me use the tools that were given to me. My insight will be, I'll be able to discern. I'll be able to have dinner and look at her across the table and know I don't have to have the same experiences over and over and over again. But you got to be in the now to get that. You got to be open to get that. And when you trust the process, when you trust that all that you need is within you, when you trust, then you are able to be open. You're able to allow your guard to come down. You're able to listen to your voice within you. You got what you need, but it's in the now. You can't use it if you're in the future. You can't use it. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't reflect. You can reflect, but most of us, we don't reflect. We stay there and we try to live there. And so we create the same thing over and over and over and over again. Ooh. It's all about our mindset. The heart, the hardest prison to escape is our mind. We are not, we do not fail. We just simply have experiences. You're not a failure. You're doing what you came here to do. And that is to experience life, to trust the process completely is to not need to know what is unfolding and why. Why? Why is this happening? Why must I go through this? But to simply be here, be present to be able to experience it. You can't experience it. You can't open up to it. You can't feel it. You can't take it in until you trust it. Trusting that the outcome is for the highest good of all. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what trusting looks like. Without Trump, there would be no Camilla. Think about that. If he had not done all that he's doing and all that, there's no way. Let's be honest. There's no way America would be even considering a black woman as president of the, come on, y'all, you know that. But when you trust, when you know that change, see, we want, we, when we, when we want change and we desire change, we think change is going to come in a bowl wrapped up in a beautiful box with gold ribbon wrapped up. Oh, oh, this is change. That's not how it works. It could work that way. But when you look at the world and you look at all of the energy that's in the world, it makes change be difficult. But when you can trust the process, look at the outcome. There's no way that this, we would even be considering the possibility, you guys. I, as a Black woman, would have never thought in my lifetime that a Black woman would be seriously considered to be president of the United States of America. Don't play. Your greatest despair, your greatest pain becomes your greatest insight, your greatest joy if you learn how to trust the process. I might not be where I want to be. That's my ego. That's my ego. If I find myself in a difficult situation, if I'm able to sit in that situation, the one thing that I know is that this too 
will pass. Nothing comes to stay. There's a reason I need to be here right now. There's something that I need to receive. There's some choices that I've made that I need to see the choices that I make so I can make different choices. And I can only become powerful if I stay in the now. But most of the time, what we do, we, we numb ourselves. We get a distraction knowing that we broke it. We go into another relationship. Knowing that we broke it, we go shopping, we eat because it's so difficult for us to be in the now because we're not trusting the process. We're not trusting that this too shall pass. We're not trusting that something is working for the highest good of who I am. We're not trusting. We're not being accountable. We're not accepting it is what it is. Ooh. But when you in the now, it will explain, it will let you know how powerful you are. You're very powerful. You're not powerless. And even if you think you're powerless, that makes you even more powerful. Because you are making choices to destroy yourself, not recognizing that is you. And you are destroying your own life, your own ability, your own joy. Ooh, you must be in the now. If you're willing to receive the guidance that you need, you must be in the now. If you're willing to have the direction that you need, you must be in the now because everything you need in order for you to be authentically who you are is in the now. Authentically. That means I've accepted all of who I am. I've accepted what you call good. I've accepted what you call bad. I've accepted that I might not be the apple in your eye. I've accepted that in American society, I'm not considered the beauty mark of the world. I've accepted it all. Because when I accept it, that's where my power lies. That your opinion of me is not my reality. Can I say that again? Your opinion, what you think, what you feel is not my reality because what I know and what is important is what I feel about who I am. Hmm. And let me tell you, you only get that in the now. Woo! If you're willing. You ask for change. We can't control how change shows up. Mm. Embracing spirituality. It helps me to live in the now. What do you believe in? And is it assisting you on your journey? Whatever your practice is, if it's not bringing you strength, if it's not bringing you peace and joy and freedom in the midst of life, then I mm, think it's time to examine, to explore other practices. If what you are doing is not working. In other words, what's the sense of it if it's not working, that's insanity. Why continue to do the same thing and you're getting the same outcome? When I call, you didn't come. Well, I'm calling on the wrong person. What's the sense of it? Mm, mm, mm. Life is always life and good or bad, but we've been given tools so that when life shows up, 
And as human beings, it will show up. We have what it takes in order to handle it. We have our intuition. We have trusting our feelings. We have our inter GPS. We have our enlightenment. And we are able to make different choices and not live life on repeat. Some of us meditate. Some of us pray. Some of us fast. Do and create what will serve you. You know, just because my mother was Pentecostal, my grandmother was Pentecostal, my grandfather was Pentecostal, does not mean that works for me. See, that's the beauty is that you are accountable. You, it's your birthright to choose and create what will work for you. Isn't that beautiful? You're not held hostage. You don't have to do it just because it's a ritual. It's a routine. Do it because we've always done it that way. No. Woo. In my closing, remember what the old folks would say. If you love somebody, tell them today because tomorrow is not promised. Don't put off tomorrow hmm, what you can do today. Maya Angelou says, if you look back, do so forgivingly. And if you look forward, do so prayfully. However, the wisest thing that you could ever do is be present in the present gratefully. The Buddha says, every morning we are born again. What we do today is all that matters. See, you off the hook. Ain't nobody holding nothing against you. What you do today is all, that, let, let tomorrow go. Now is all that we have. Stop wasting time on things that we can't change. Stop wasting time on things that continue to hold us hostage, hold us in bondage. Listen, free yourself now. God bless you. Thank you.